Hey, this is the franchise, Shane Douglas. For the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, and you're watching. Oh, me. And you're watching. And you're watching. this podcast, and Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> And you're watching the Ali Harper Show on YouTube. aka TNS Attitude and I am back again here on youtube.com for all things professional wrestling and I'm sure by the title of this video you know what we're going to be covering because to, as of today we have got our big announcement in regarding when the Wrestlemania 41 tickets are going to be going on sale October the 25th 2024, it's a Friday. That is when the general sale will be taking place on Ticketmaster.com for WrestleMania 41 from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Now, of course, there will be also a pre-sale opportunity. That will be Wednesday, October the 23rd. And uh, today's video is really going to be about my past experiences with the sales and really just digging up a bit of stuff, bringing some stuff back to light to really help you guys. If this is your first WrestleMania trip, if it's, I don't know, you're a lapsed fan and you're making that trip again, awesome. Well, let's let's just go over a few things, guys, because I've done the last few WrestleManias. This is going to be my sixth WrestleMania trip, and I am absolutely buzzing for it, guys. My sixth WrestleMania trip, it's going to be a solo one for me this year. I'm really excited for it, guys. But as I say, and really just... Bring it back in a bit, guys. You know, we've got some announcements, of course. We're also going to talk about on location as well, because I do want to talk about that. But I've been a bit open-minded this year, guys, you know. Uh, coming out of WrestleMania 40, and that was a cool trip. Uh, going back, looking at 39, 40, you know, those two WrestleManias and how I went about booking those, you know. At the same time, I got my WrestleMania combo tickets in both of those uh, years through the pre-sale. And that is the first topic I really want to get to. And that is the pre-sale. Pre-sale will be the most important date for you guys. That general sale will be what it will be. I, I don't think I've heard... I mean, th for me, right, my experience has always been the pre-sale is where you can strike hot. On the contrary, that of course, Ticketmaster is very much dynamic pricing due to popular demand of shows, events and artists. And WrestleMania, WWE events are going to be no different. At the end of the day, this is going to be for them. If you go in nice and early on that pre-sale, early, early bird to catch the worm, guys, early bird to catch that combo ticket where you want to get it at a nice low price, that's where you're going to do it, guys in the first few minutes if you're getting in the waiting room and you're loading in because that's what will happen there'll be that waiting room you'll be in there with hundreds of thousands of people and if it, you know they've got to keep it nice and keep that you know until it's your turn then you go in you take what you need you look around the itinerary and you come out and hopefully you get what you want and happy days you know and that should be how it goes now Let's talk prices, you know. Combo tickets are very, very important. And I really just want to make you guys aware of that. You know, a combo ticket over a single night ticket can sometimes be the biggest saving. And I will say that straight away from first-hand experience. You know, when I was in SoFi State, well, SoFi for WrestleMania 39... Uh, I had nice level one riser seats and they came to... Now, you've got to bear this in mind, guys. This was with conversions, with fees and everything kind of converting back to British. So I, to go over dollar, I'll just go over the, pretty much the, the British conversion of what it became. It was £800 for a combo ticket for WrestleMania 39, night one, night two. It was £800. 800 British sterling was what was basically what I... 
I spent to go to WrestleMania 39, and that was for a nice level one. So I'm just giving you guys a few ideas of some forecasts for what to expect going into 41. Now, don't get me wrong. This is 39. This is now almost two years ago. Uh, WrestleMania 40, of course. That, again, I was lucky enough with those tickets, they were £800 again. Now, but, now that was a little bit nearer. They were actually risers, but on the corner, a corner to the stage. If you watch my vlogs, you'll see how that view was. I personally think that, you know, maybe I struck a little bit too quickly with those tickets. Could have got something a little better. But at the end of the day, you know, it was one of them things. I was just wanting to get tickets. I was trying to accommodate somebody else. And it was just all about just making sure that we got something. And at the time, with the budget and how it was, that was what it was, you know, £800 again. But at the same time, two years of WrestleMania night, you know, 39, 40, keeping it as it was. 800 both years is not bad. Now, that's his, this, again, going over my own personal budget here, guys. But WrestleMania 41, I am most definitely sure is going to be, it's got to increase this year. There is no getting away from it on several reasons. One being, of course, with the TKO merger now being very much in full effect and how the quality of the WWE product is just getting better week in, year in, year out. You know, it's all about money. It's all about profits. It's all about how they can make it bigger. I am no doubt going to hope, I'm seeing there's going to be, I feel there will definitely be some price hikes. I wouldn't be surprised. But at the same time, it's what you guys are going to be feeling comfortable with. What's going to be something you are comfortable with, with your own budgets. You know, don't bankrupt yourself. But at the same time, sometimes you've got to be realistic with yourself and think, well, is this really what I want to do? This is what I want to sign up for. You know, WrestleMania doesn't come cheap. There are obviously unique circumstances where, you know, some people I know have played the waiting game and they've played that waiting game for a long time. And that waiting game then comes around and tickets can drop in price big time. And that can be due to they just need to fill the stadium up if you wait it out really long time and you can probably get a good deal. But at the same time, I do feel that that waiting game scenario, that waiting game technique is sometimes maybe even starting to fade out a little bit now with the more international stadium shows. Because, of course, people just want to be there. People want to be at WrestleMania. People want to be at SummerSlam, Royal Rumble. They want to do the stadium shows. They want to enjoy it because, you know, in the post-COVID world, people want experiences. People want to be entertained. And that is very much an important thing after everyone being in the lockdown for so long. So many years ago now, four years, four years ago. It's crazy, crazy to think we are approaching 2025 it, not too far away. We've just hit the autumn as well. It's, it's crazy. 2024 is going fast, but 2025 is also on the way. So, <clears throat> as I say, combo tickets are very important. They will be your, I think, combo tickets on a pre-sale are also going to be your cheapest option for the Roman. By the time that general sale hits, what will usually happen? A lot of combo... Well, uh, from experience, what I notice, a lot of itinerary goes out in the pre-sale. So that will be the time where people are going to be getting in there, jumping in, grabbing what they want. And then by that general sale, you really just hope that there's going to be a bit left. But again, I've noticed with certain general sales that sometimes the biscuit crumbs can be left and then more stuff will open up down the line, you know. But again, I mean, we WrestleMania in Vegas, there is a bit of a gamble there, guys. But as I say, pre-sale, pre-sale, pre-sale. Bear that in mind, combo tickets will always be your best friend over buying those single individual tickets for a night one ticket and a night two ticket. You know, you know not also with a combo ticket, you are sitting in the same seat for both nights, but hey, you're made for both nights. You are there, you're at WrestleMania. And that's the, that's the thing. Now, where I also wanted to discuss, because with this video being about helping all of you guys out, from my experience, I also wanted to discuss where I'm thinking of going this year. Where am I thinking of doing? While I've wanted to give this, you know, give you this information and really give you the, the advice from my experiences with doing this the last few years, um, I also wanted to look at on location. And this is something that I've been thinking about for WrestleMania 41. Um, I've been looking at on location because I've never done it. And while I've never done it, it doesn't mean I don't want to do it. You know, it's something that I've been kind of seeing the last couple of years. And I've seen that the experiences seem to be fairly good. I've noticed that people have gone in, you know, they've got the ticket that they need. It's just been in a pretty much a buy straight up deal. 
And what they've bought, they've got a pretty good experience with it. You know, it comes with those pre-snack uh, pre uh, snack parties where you're going to get the buffet. There's hosts. You get to meet wrestlers. Um, there's a certain entrance for you. You get exclusive merch through one location, priority pass. I've seen the cap, the badge, etc. So, you know, there are some perks to that. You are paying a bit more, of course, because it's a much more premiumized experience. But I do feel that... For this being my sixth WrestleMania and something where I'm also thinking about this could be my last one for a while. I mean, you know, I've got other things I want to start doing after Vegas. And I'm really looking at this as almost a moment to just have a pause with this, with the WrestleMania trips. Not saying I'm not going to be doing trips and not going to be doing YouTube because, guys, you, you're stuck with me. But as I say, but in terms of WrestleMania... I do feel this one could be my last one for a little while. I just want a bit of a break. I feel that, uh, you know, I've pretty much been going in with these Mania trips since WrestleMania 38. And that was a package that I did through WWE. And it would be kind of poetic to finish out with a package for 41. So I've been bearing that in mind, you know, to not have to be going up against the riff and the wrath of the Ticketmaster style, which can sometimes be... Good. And, you know, I've proved it can be good. You know, I've I've been lucky enough with the Ticketmasters before and I've got in when I've needed to and got my combos and got out of there, you know. But at the same time, uh, you know, 41 would be cool to have that sort of that premiumized experience and have something a little different to really differentiate it over some of the other mania trips that I've done in the past. So I am thinking about that. But at the same time, I'm not disregarding the... Uh, the main stuff that we're talking about today, the main bread and butter being, of course, the, the Ticketmaster pre-sale and the general sale on October the 25th. Um, but yeah, I'm hype, guys. I'm hype, baby. This channel will always be for professional wrestling. It's for the fans. It's by the fans. And whatever I can do on this channel to help each and every one of you out there, guys, if you are planning on going to WrestleMania, hit me below this video. Comment, subscribe, like. You know all this stuff, guys. And vlogging is what it's all about, guys. If you are wanting to see some experiences and live vicariously through some of the stuff I've done in the past. You know, I've got 38 vlogs, 39, 40. Older stuff on here, like 29 and 30, guys. But, uh, yeah, as I say. And one more thing I just want to mention, guys, before we get off here. Talking about the currency and also talking about the pound, you know. Being that I'm from the UK, being in Nottingham. One thing I will say as well is the fact that... Uh, ooh, my phone is just telling me that it's running starting to run low on battery but we still record we still we're running we're live pal but uh, one thing i will say one pound a dollar 33 right now but let's say one dollar 30 that's not bad that ain't bad is it is it awful no but at the same time it's an improvement when it was in the 120s now am i saying that the you know that that could go anywhere that, that that balance of that ratio of one pound to a dollar 33 it might not seem a lot but guys, when you're buying that WrestleMania ticket and you're using Ticketmaster USA and you realize, you know, those ticket hikes are going to be there, bear in mind that the pound's not doing bad at the dollar right now. So, you know, $1.33, if you increase that to a thousand pounds, that's $1,333, $1,333. So, yeah, you, you know, that's that 300 there that's going to kind of work its way in so bear that in mind guys um but yeah just just going off a little bit there with some uh, currency but it's it's good to know you know always use your american credit card when you're buying well use your use your credit card when you're buying uh, for america you know don't use your british card because you have to pay a sterling fee and I learned that many years ago when I was buying uh, for WrestleMania 38, using my British card and then ended up paying a fee to TSB. It was the worst thing ever. But as I say, use your credit card, international credit card. Don't pay that fee. I use Virgin Money. Very good guys to use. Uh, and they, they've got your back, Jack. But there are other ones you can use. But Virgin, it's like a Virgin travel card I use. But yeah, as I say. But on that note, guys, that is today's video. As I say, don't forget to comment subscribe and like and i'll catch each and every one of you out there for another video very very soon and as i say if there's any more advice any more help that i can give you guys let me know below this video i'll catch you soon guys